<laughs> hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Adeze, and if this is your first time meeting me, hey. <laughs> In today's video, I have a very special guest, so I'm really excited because this is my first collaboration. So, like, you're my first guest. Yeah, officially. <laughs> officially. Um, so, I'm just gonna let her introduce herself. Okay, so my name is Asmata. And I have been Adeze's classmate since the past two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> yeah, we actually studied clinical psychology together. So we're very passionate about mental health. Mm -hmm. And really, that's what this video is going to be about. We're going to yeah. be sharing like very important details about self-care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think this is like a perfect time to talk about self-care just because mm -hmm. it's all over the news. Everyone's talking about it. And yeah, we just wanted to like have a general discussion about what it means to us. Yeah. Like we are not the best people to implement self-care in our own lives, but we would just talk about what we do. Yeah. As us, you know, like it's not easy for anyone to implement self-care all the time. Right, right, right. Um, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, then definitely watch this video till the very and and um please do like her videos <laughs> subscribe to her channel share comment and let us know if you have any more questions or things she could talk about in her next videos yeah oh my god you're a youtuber already <laughs> <laughs> yes please yeah. like this video and um let's just get right into the video shall we yeah let's just start with the basic question uh, which most of us ask like what does actually self-care mean yeah. yeah i think for me like i like to say that self-care is a lifestyle mm -hmm. so um it's an act of intentionally taking care of yourself that sounds very cliche but really very basic taking care of yourself and no matter how cliche it sounds mm -hmm. a lot of us struggle with doing that yeah, I mean, don't you think it's sometimes hard for you to be intentional about self-care? Yeah, I think that's what makes it really hard and, yeah. um, you know, like, sometimes we're thinking about self-care like something you do to reward yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I had a really, you know, hard day, so I'm gonna reward myself with self-care. Yeah, like take a hot shower, a bubble bath or something, <laughs> yeah, like something luxurious, you know? Right, yeah, that's yeah. it. Like, when we think of self-care, we're thinking luxury. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, you know, when you think about the intentionality mm -hmm. behind self-care, then it's making a conscious decision to make use of everything and right. anything to actually take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me as well, like initially when I heard of self-care, it was like, oh my God, I have to treat myself to a spa day once a month. <laughs> I know. Or like, you know, just do these big things. Yeah. And it sounded so big and I was like, do I even have the time to right. indulge in that kind exactly. of luxury? Or am I even like financially <laughs> able to do that? I know, it's so funny because you think about self-care and you're thinking, oh, massage, or yeah. like go to the beauty parlor, or, like everything that involves your credit card or your debit card, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> it's like crazy. Like, yeah, it's not that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, throughout these two years of our, uh, I mean, program and then taking counseling mm -hmm. and all that stuff, I mean, what I have kind of come to the point is that self-care can be as simple as like, you know, making a cup of tea for yourself or like coming home and then just lying on your bed without any kind of a social media distraction is self-care to me. Yeah, very true. Very yeah. true. Like very, very... What other questions did we get? So, um, there was this question about, you know, uh, how much time should we dedicate to self-care each and every day? Or how do you kind of, what are the simple things you do to mm -hmm. incorporate self-care? Self-care into your day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, one thing that really helps me is taking care of my space. Like, mm -hmm. cleaning up makes me really happy and makes me feel like I'm taking care of myself. Right. Yeah. So, what, what, you know, what would you say helps you? Realize that setting boundaries is one of the things which helps me take care of myself. Yeah. Yeah, that's so powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one, okay. So one other thing that I I hear a lot of people talk about when it comes to self care mm -hmm. is journaling. Is that something you've practiced, and what has been your experience? What I do is like I do this thing in the morning where I write a H G L note. What this means is like H would be a daily highlight of my day, so something which was like you know. Um, I'm looking forward to, to do in the day for example if I have to go and meet someone in the evening and like spend time with them I would just like like okay so I'm meeting Adeze this afternoon to like grab a pizza and have a movie night with her that so fancy. that's my highlight yeah. and then G would stand for something I'm grateful for during the day 
So uh, most of the times it can be any simple thing like if a glass of water is like you know in front of me I'm like I'm really grateful for this glass of water. Ooh, okay. So or something even you know very uh, I don't know like spiritual like okay my faith in God or I'm grateful for being religious or I really like that I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. I mean you don't have to be super super like you know insightful to know what you're grateful for you can just like look around you and think come up come up with simple things like the plant behind us I know it's artificial but like I'm grateful for the yeah, greenery the color yeah yeah okay so and then L stands for letting go so something you which you want to like kind of like remove from your life so it can be as simple as probably letting go of letting go of any negative emotion in your head or your you know yeah. mind space letting go of social media for a day yeah like it can be very simple things but i think doing that in the first thing in the morning i feel like that just sets the tone for my day mm-hmm. and it helps me just kind of like de-stress yeah and what's the last one that's all it's so hgl yeah highlight gratefulness and letting go oh i think i want to try that <laughs> like so what is the highlight of today um I think the highlights do will actually like be making this video. video. Yeah, yeah. cuz we've like talking about it for too. a while. Yeah. yeah, so like that's the highlight of my day mm-hmm. and what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for the weekend. Mm. I'm grateful that the whole you idea Yeah, and I'm grateful that the whole idea of working is not Monday to Sunday. Like mm. I'm grateful for the concept of the weekend. That's so beautiful. Yeah. I just realized that because like I feel like these three months I've been at home and I forgot the you know the beautiful like weekend thing which was coming right but then I think you have worked from Monday to Friday and like you really know that how much you're looking forward to the weekend right? exactly exactly yeah. and I the, the L would be letting go right so I guess I'm letting go of my fears because I mean I just got done with school mm-hmm. and um, starting a new job and I've had a lot of doubts yeah. and so like Today I decided to just like let go, you know, let go of those fears. So it's beautiful. Yeah. That's really cool. I I feel like you guys should try that cuz I don't know if it kind of made me feel better. Like I almost feel like I'm going to cry. It's kind of weird. It is really weird. I feel like therapy is so therapeutic. Wow. That's <laughs> <is me. laughs> All right, so guys, do you want to do you want to actually try closing the video cuz no, I'm not a YouTuber, but I'll try. So, yeah, we have come to the end of the video. <laughs> And um, yeah, we talked about a lot of things. I know it might be like kind of overwhelming to hear all of this. Yeah. Like all of us talking and then we both talking as well. But mm-hmm. I just hope you could take some of the pieces out of this video which you found useful and apply it into your daily lives. Mm-hmm. But if you if if you want us to answer some more questions, you can you know obviously ask them in the comment section and we would definitely reply to all of yeah, your questions. Yeah, we'll be happy to questions. do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Other than that, yeah, like her video, subscribe to her channel, comment, <laughs> and let us know how you like this. Exactly. Don't forget to do all of that. And um, I hope that this video was really helpful. Mm-hmm. And um, like she said, there's more where this came from. So. If you like to see more, definitely comment down below. And until I see you in my next video, remember that you're a beautiful human if you do <laughs> say so yourself. Alright. Bye. Bye-bye.